heads of the Market Basket Board of Directors have made a new offer as the stalemate between employees and executives reaches the end of its third week. Good evening. I'm Shelley Walcott. And I'm Tom Griffith. The offer would bring fired CEO Arthur T. DeMulis back, but without his old title. Adam Sexton joins us with RDT's response. Adam? Well, Tom and Shelley, the employees and Arthur T. appear to be very suspicious of this new offer. Those we spoke with feel it's just a ploy to regain control of the company. On another slow night at market baskets across the region, there appeared to be a break in this unique labor and management versus management stalemate. The independent directors of the DeMoulis board publicized an offer to deposed CEO Arthur T. DeMoulis, a detailed agreement that would allow him and his entire former management team, including all individuals who resigned or were dismissed, to assist the company's return to normal business operations. But Arthur T. would not have full control. As a result, employees were calling this a PR stunt. We are not coming back, nor are the customers coming back until RDT comes back. It was a bogus offer. Come back, we'll bring the management in, we'll get the stores up and running, and then we'll get rid of you and turn around and sell it right out from underneath you and us. Apparently, Arthur T. DeMoulis didn't like the offer either, releasing his own statement, rejecting it as disingenuous. He said, quote, this is far too serious a situation for these games and attempts at window dressing. I think he knows that this is a family and he doesn't want to break it up. The way we've been, part timers have been treated, I don't feel comfortable coming back unless RDT is in 100% control. Until then, protests will continue with stores left looking like supermarket ghost towns in this one of a kind battle for the soul of a company. I don't even think people can say what this exactly is. Nobody's been able to pin it. Tilton Market Basket Assistant Manager Ed Reed says employees have faith that they and Arthur T. DeMoulis will eventually prevail. He's incredible, and we will do whatever it takes to get him back. In his statement, Arthur T. contends that the board of directors only wants him back to stabilize the company long enough to sell it. Meantime, the board is portraying this offer as a reasonable compromise, saying, quote, there is no reason not to meet in the middle. Live in the newsroom, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.